Hey YouTube, this is Kevin Bolin of Bolin Small Engine, and today on the table we have a PP4218 Poland Chainsaw. Now I know there's a lot of my viewers that would say, well what in the world is Kevin doing? He's doing another video on these Polands? I thought he said these things were pieces of shit. And guys, I'm going to be honest, <laughs> I still feel the same way. They're complete pieces of shit. Howsomever, I have some YouTube viewers that are very adamant that think that these saws are just as good as other saws if they're properly maintained. Now that being said, uh, there may be a little level of truth to that, okay? Uh, now, I gotta be honest, <laughs> I know enough about these chainsaws to realize that you can't really depend on them, so I'm not gonna really share in on that, okay? I'm just gonna tell you from my perspective, I honestly think they're complete pieces of shit, okay? And it's gonna take a lot to change my mind about these chainsaws, especially due to the fact that I work on them every single day. And I will actually show you guys proof of that here momentarily as I had a viewer who was adamant that thinks that I was young and inexperienced so <laughs> he's definitely going to eat his words there guys but that's beside the point all right without rambling on and without further ado I'm going to stand down here and I'm going to show you guys these parts and you guys are going to be able to see for yourself what I've been telling you all along is absolutely the truth about these chainsaws I'm going to start off by telling you as you can obviously see, this crankshaft is broke. This is the piece I was telling you guys that actually protrudes from these that breaks off. I had actually taken this crankshaft out. There of course is your, your clutch. And I wanted to show you guys basically some failure points to these chainsaws. So you can actually see them for yourselves and realize that it's not just hearsay, okay? It's not just me pointing out, you know, problems that are potentially there. These are real problems that actually exist, and you can actually see for yourself here on the table that I'm telling the truth, okay? So I'm going to start off by telling you guys there was two problems with this chainsaw that made this chainsaw a warranty. One of which is all that was required for the warranty to go through. And that, of course, being the crankshaft was broke. These crankshafts break because basically the treatment that they get in the factory. Husqvarna claimed that they fixed the problem, but as you can clearly see, they haven't. It was a cop-out. A bunch of bullshit they told everybody to get them off their ass. Okay, that's basically what it comes down to. The second problem with this saw that isn't so obvious was the locator pin. Okay, for your piston rings. As you can see, piston ring's in great shape. But the locator pin actually broke a piece of the aluminum out at the top of the head of this piston here, and it caused internal damage to the cylinder. Now, you guys aren't going to be able to see this all that well, but I'm going to try to show you. It's going to be a little difficult, but right here. You can see there's like a score line going up on this side over here on the intake side and on the exhaust side here, which is going to be a little difficult to see, but as I said, it's there. So basically, that in itself would be a warranty. Now, unless you're a dealer, you're going to get the runaround, okay? They're not going to want to warrant it, honestly, because they're going to say you abused it. Now, they can't really argue with the fact that the damn crankshaft broke, okay? So they're pretty well screwed in that. If you have that problem, you can take it back to them and you know, it becomes pretty obvious that that's a warranty issue, all right? But they'll argue with you over something like that. The reason being is the piston scored, okay? And the cylinder scored. So what do you got? I mean, what's your defense? You see what I'm getting at? So that's why I don't like really dealing with these cheap ass saws. Honestly, they're a lot of headache. As I was saying, I'm going to go on and I'm going to show you some other failure spots to these chainsaws. One of the other failure spots to these chainsaws, which unfortunately I'm not going to be able to show you on this flywheel because this flywheel wasn't damaged, is the flywheel key itself. Now, luckily enough, guys, I have another chainsaw identical to this one here that I'm showing you that has a flywheel that's bad. And I'll go ahead and get it. So I can show you that there's no gimmicks here, guys. This, of course, is the other chainsaw. 
and it too is a it's here somewhere guys let me find it right there PP 4218 and it's scored which hopefully you guys will be able to see this chainsaw here is scored as well reason being is for this saw the seals took a shit but as I was saying this is what you can expect most of the time when you have an issue with a crankshaft breaking. I'm going to try to hold that up in the camera so it will show you guys the uh, flywheel key that's sheared there. Now I know there will be a few of you say, well there's no way that chainsaw was only 21 days old or 19 days old. Kevin's full of shit. Let me show you. This is the muffler that came off of it. See the plate? Not even been real hot. Look at this, guys. It's not been hot at all. Brand new saw. Now, if you need further proof, I'd be more than happy to oblige you there as well. See? Take a look at this, guys. And as I was showing you, there's your backing plate. There's your muffler on the inside there. See, still shiny and clean and pretty. Very, very, very little run time on this saw. Of course, there is your uh, spark uh, arrester. See, you ain't even gotten clogged. Now, as I was showing you guys in the other video, This is your seals that came off of this piece of shit. Now, as you can imagine, and I'll show you in the camera here, this is your bottom cap or plate. Some people like to call them plates. That bottom plate grips against this seal, just like this, guys. Now, we can all agree. But that's the way that seal came out of there, see? Just like that. And this, of course, would have been the mating surface to it. Right here. Right? So if that be the case, then why is it that these seals are not uniform. Shouldn't the whole material around that seal be crushed? Now I know there'll be a few of you say, well Kevin, only about half of it is inside. And that is true. That's very true. But even that half that's there, shouldn't it show up on the seal? Should, shouldn't it guys? Right here, shouldn't it? But look for yourselves. It's not. It's not uniform at all. So what does that tell you? That tells you those seals don't actually get compressed the way they're supposed to by that bottom cap and that cylinder. Meaning that it's inevitable that them damn things are going to leak. You're going to have an air leak. It's just plain and simple. As soon as that saw gets hot, with that limited amount of space to grip that seal, then that damn thing's going to leak and it's going to burn up. It's just common sense. Now, I'm going to show you guys one more problem with these Poland saws that I mentioned in the other video. This is the oiler out of that saw, okay? If you look closely, and I'm going to try to shine the light on this guy so you can see, you're going to see that the teeth on this oiler are completely gone. Now right here, it's in great shape. So look at that. Look right here where it crushed it, just peeled it up, just tore it all to shit. Now keep in mind guys, this chainsaw ain't but about 19 to 21 days old. And these are problems that just came off of one saw, okay? Just this one saw that was under warranty because of the crankshaft that was broke. Just a crankshaft that was broke. And it had all these additional problems. 
21 days old, guys. Two tanks of gas. Now, as you can see, it's pretty obvious at this point that these saws are pieces of shit right out of the box. Now, I want to prove to you this saw is new. See the primer? Primer's new. The gas cap's tighter than hell. I can tell you why. There we go. It's been outside. But you can see, it's new. Look at, the, look at the ring around it. Brand new, guys. Brand new cap, everything. And I was damn lucky to get that cap off that easily. Now this, of course, is a flywheel. that came off of another saw identical to the one that I'm showing you here on the table that was ruined because of a similar failure and the other one the seals took a shit and like I said it basically uh, ruined the saw so I'm going to show you guys that saw that's identical to the one that I took apart on the table show you this is the flywheel that I took off okay and as you can see, it's scored. If you look in there, I'll try to turn it a little bit, guys, so you can have a better look. See, it's scored all to hell. If there's any questions or comments that you guys feel that I haven't addressed on these saws, that I haven't made self-evident at this point, please tell me. But i got to be honest, this is probably going to be my last video on Poland, because in truth and honesty... I am truly tired of trying to explain to people why these saws are complete pieces of shit. You know, you're going to have people out there that believe you, and you're going to have people that think that, you know, the product's just as good as another product, blah, blah, whatever, okay? But the simple fact of the matter is, you can't argue with results. And this is the results of one chainsaw under warranty, okay? Under warranty, might I mind you, that had just been tore down. That's it. That's all that's happened. I took it completely apart where we filed a warranty because of the crankshaft breaking. And I'll be damned if I don't find another problem that would have been a warranty as well. Which just proves my point. That these things are assembled dirt ass cheap. They're complete pieces of shit. I've tried to explain that over and over to people. But, you know, there are just some people you can't reach out there. Till next time, YouTube.